we are making Captain Peanut Butter Captain Crunch Bars. They're very tasty, very simple. Now, we got the ingredients, so come on over and we'll show you what you need. You will need one box of Peanut Butter Crunch. You will need six cups of marshmallows that we're gonna melt. Four cups that you're not melting. Six ounces of white chocolate and six ounces of pecans we're going to crush and butter to melt the marshmallows. My assistant's going to cut the chocolate into quarters and we're going to melt it at half the temperature. We melt it at half the temperature so it melts slowly and you won't burn the white chocolate. up the pecans. You don't have to add pecans to this. You can add almonds or no nuts at all, but obviously if you're making it with a peanut butter Captain Crunch, you can, you're not allergic to nuts, so add your favorite kind. Yeah. Oh, no, not fine enough. Hey, Ethan, why don't you check on that chocolate and stir it up? Mom, it's not melted at all. Yes, honey, if you look down close, you're mixed up a little bit. See, it's starting to melt. Oh. That's why you do it at half the temperature and why you mix it up so you can see what's going on. All right, go ahead and put it in for another minute and we'll start again. Now back to the pecan. beautiful powder. Now I'm not adding these in yet because we're going to get the wax paper ready. Alright, now see after one minute. And the reason why you mix it is because it's still warm and so it will continue to melt because we don't want it to scorch because this is our topping. What does scorch go. mean? Burn. We don't want it to burn. You can put it on a double broiler, but I'm microwaving it. It's so much easier. See how it continues to melt? All right, well, while Ethan's stirring that, I'm going to get the marshmallows started. All right, I put in the two tablespoons of butter, and we melt, whoop, the jumping marshmallows. Okay. Hey, Ethan, why don't you bring that white chocolate over here and show everyone how it melted. Look at, see? Just from the heat, it continues to melt. It, it looks like something maple-like. Yeah, it's just white chocolate. There are still a few chunks. Yep, yeah, which we'll put it in for 30 seconds. Okay. Because we want it really creamy so we can drizzle it. And my marshmallows are melting. Now, this is an awesome fun dish you can do any time of year or treat. I remembered at Christmas, a friend of mine, her mother used to make something like this. I couldn't remember it exactly. So I came up with my own recipe. And it tastes so good. Yeah. Unusual treat at Christmas. Or any time of year. <laughs> All right. We're going to take our cream, marshmallow cream, off the heat. And we're going to let it set for a minute. And I'm going to get my wax paper ready. Because this makes very fast. Set my wax paper out. I'll get my little roosters over here to hold it. How long of wax paper do we need? Well, because it makes a lot. I just pull out what I can and depends on the size of your counter. My problem is the edge is rolling up. It's a good thing I got a lot of these little roosters around. Alrighty. The chocolate's finished. Put the chocolate next to the 
Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Now we're gonna put in the melted marshmallows. With butter. <laughs> With butter. And we are going to mix this up. Woo! As it falls all over the place. Yes, this is why we have such a big bowl. Okay, could you put half of that white chocolate in here, please? All right, that's good. All right, we got the pecans. Wait, 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 that's good. And the marshmallows. The extra marshmallows. The extra marshmallows. Okay, dump in some more pecans. Doesn't want to come out. But this is for. Alrighty. Hey, you want to grab me some spoons? Get four of them. All right. You want to make sure it's going to stick together and not separate. And see right now, this will make a perfect ball. It looks so yummy. I want to eat it. What are we going to do with the extra white chocolate? Now we're going to put in the rest of the white chocolate. Thank you. This is why I need aids, you know, to help me out. Alright, now we'll mix around the rest of the white chocolate. <laughs> yeah, you want to make sure it's good and mixed because sometimes you can look at the bottom and you'll see like marshmallow down there, melted marshmallow, or nuts, or white chocolate. So that's why I have a big scraper. Alright. Ready to make some Captain Crunch Balls? Yep. Okay. And then soon ready to eat them? <laughs> now you just take a scoop and you set it out. It's trying to run away. Now some of these will be hard to stick, but if you're not afraid to get your hands dirty, I'm going to clean which mine are. Not saying that Ethan's isn't. You can just stick your hands right in. It's just for the younger ones, it can be a little hot from all the chocolate. First one. Uh, they hate me. What did I ever do besides eat them? Eat them. Huh. We have 70. Captain Crunch Balls. Ooh, oh darn, and you can see these little ones that have just broken away. Mm -mm -mm. That's such a horrible shame. How these little pieces break off. Mm -mm -mm. Now we're gonna let these set for about five minutes before we take them off. I'm gonna put them on our plate with the fudge and get it ready to give out some Christmas treats. We got the two assistants here that helped me. Go ahead and take a taste of the treat. What one are you getting, Ethan? Peanut butter crunch. I love fudge. All right, well, let me know what you think. Okay, you're walking out of the shop. It, it tastes delicious that I want some more. <laughs> no, you're wanting more fudge. And Ethan, how do you like your peanut butter crunch bar? Balls. <laughs> Give me one. They're awesome. You didn't help out. <laughs> Next time you can help out with little red hen. All right. From our kitchen to yours. Remember, when you burn, you learn. Hi.
this is Susan with the Burning and Learning Show. I've learned more things to do with my program and I've added in comments throughout the show. Please let me know what you think. If you like them, I can add in a few more. If you don't like them, we can just take them out. I truly loved having my family home to help out in the kitchen. This is a great time of year to bring your children and family and friends into the kitchen and get them cooking too for those that have of us that know how and even for those of us that don't you can see I make a few mistakes here and there but it's all in great fun if you have any questions or comments let me know if you like the video please press the like button and tell others about the show look forward to hearing from you and see you next year